mixed media art therapy uh, video. Now on this one, this has been a long awaited video. The last time I created this particular item was 10 years ago. So I thought I would revisit it after having a few requests on if I would do this again. And this is the perfect um, playlist to do it under. And it's called the Soul Box. So we're going to create a Soul Box. What is a Soul Box, you ask? Well, a Soul Box is a place just for you to go whenever your soul or your heart is feeling hurt. And you don't want to share that hurt with anybody else. You may not even want to put it in a journal because a journal, again, can be read by somebody. Uh, one perfect example of when your heart may be hurt would be if you are a teacher and you uh, have had parent-teacher interviews and you teach 13 children and all the parents are pleased with the job you've done, but there's one parent who reads the right act to you up one side and down the other. What do you dwell on? The one parent, the one rotten apple in the bag. It's always the way we are, it's the way we're conditioned. And now with the internet, you can post something very innocent. It could be a YouTube video or an Instagram and you get one horrible derogatory comment and that just eats at you and eats at you because there's nothing you can do about it like it's like where do i put this where do i regurgitate this awfulness well your soul box is a perfect place for that so let's begin with what we'll need what materials we'll need to create our soul box first of all of course whoops sorry first of all First of all, you're going to need a box of some size, usually a small one. Um, I'll show you them in just a second, but just a small box that will hold the items that are, I'm going to show you. I'll just move my candle away here. You're going to need a candle or this kind of candle, which would be best for um, a young person. Uh, the battery is really low on this, but you get the idea. You know, they have their own glow. Now, if you can find a pink candle, that would be wonderful because pink represents loving kindness. And you light the candle before you begin with your soul box with an intention an intention of ridding yourself of all this negativity that's bugging you. That's the purpose you're using it for. So hopefully the end result will be you've left it, it's gone, and you can carry on with your life without stressing about whatever it is that got you so upset. A pink, here's a pink candle here. I think I got, whoops, I think I got this at Ascendant Bookstore. Oh, it smells beautiful. So pink represents loving kindness or white in this instance. So I'm going to do one for more of an adult and one for like a teenager because right now social media is just destroying some of our young people and they're not even knowing their true worth. Like, And they don't want to tell their parents. So they just hold all this on. This would be a great gift for a teenager especially. The next item you're going to need are matches. In this instance, if you feel the individual is responsible enough and old enough to handle a lit candle. Or again, we'll skip the matches for this one. You're going to need a rose quartz crystal. And the idea is that before you do anything in your soul box you hold on to the rose quartz crystal because it truly is a crystal that has the properties of loving kindness you can believe that or not believe that but if you do believe that while you're creating this then it will serve its purpose you hold your hand and just 
say to yourself, um, I deserve loving kindness, I deserve to be loved, and I also need to practice giving loving kindness if you're the one that's been of the negative party in a situation. Next thing we have is a pad of paper, and these are just post-it notes, and a pen. And depending on the size of the box, you want the pen to fit. So this one's a little smaller, as you can see. And you're going to then start writing whatever it is on this piece of paper. You can say whatever you want. Call the person whatever you want. No one's going to read this. Nobody but you. And you don't even have to read it back. You're going to rip it up and throw it away. Flush it away. Burn it. Throw it in a fireplace. But I don't recommend that for this group of people to be burning anything. Okay? And then the next thing I do, light some incense. Incense is a powerful, just the smell of it. If this is something that you make a habit of doing while you're doing your soul box. You could then put a teeny little dish or something inside so the incense could burn and the ashes don't go anywhere else. So just the fragrance of that incense cone is it just sets your body into a place of calm and peace, loving kindness. Mm -hmm. Then the very last thing we're going to put in the box is a treat of some kind. So these are Lindor chocolates and a few extra because you know it's not going to be the only time you come to the soul box. So there. That's what we have in our soul box. Okay, let's get started on creating our boxes. So the first box I have is a beautiful Joe Malone box that I had got some lotion in for Christmas. Or no, this was for my birthday for my daughter. I love it. Not much to do. All I had to do was take out the black tissue. Tissue. It's even black inside. Coolio. And then this one was some, it was actually kind of cool. I bought these for my kids and split them up. They were cocktail bombs and they look like little tiny bath bombs. You can see them there. And you drop them in a glass, pour it in some sparkling water, and then poured in the alcohol that went with whatever bomb you had. So, um, yeah, they had a variety pack. So I don't need that. I love the size of the box. Don't need all this. So what I'm going to do is just take this little water mixture and water this label. And kind of work it in a bit because I want to remove this without damaging the box too much. So the next thing I'm going to do is sand off a lot of this roughness because I kind of want it to be smooth. So next I'm going to give both boxes a pretty good coating of just so. start doing my background on my boxes here and I want to just do distress ink and zinc uh, distress oxide from Ranger Tim Holtz's inkies so on this one I'm going to do mostly a uh, orange and red kind of 
sunset situation. Who knows what's going to happen? So let's start with yellow. I'm all done with this box and I simply love the way it turned out. Look at that. Look at this. Just playing around. And what I found out after I rubbed on the Distress inks, instead of spritzing the water or dabbing it with a baby wipe, which tend to take all the color off, I just took a paintbrush and dipped it in the water like this and just dabbed it on top and then dried it with my heat gun and I got those really cool elements you only get from Distress Inks. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so right now I found, the reason I did these colors was because you can see the colors behind here. I found this, I have no idea where it came from. Belong to yourself. It might have been a card. I don't know what this was, but I've always loved it. And I love that it says belong to yourself. I just love that. So I want to at least cut out that much of it. You know, I don't need all this part, but we're going to cut out all the other underneath stuff. And then I'm going to go this way first, kind of rough cut it. And um, I'm caught cutting out any straight lines because they always give away that you've cut something out. So we want this to fit on our box. And then we will use Mod Podge to get this on the box. And this one's going to be pretty easy. Now, first and foremost, I want to see as I always do, how many plies of paper are in this because, oh, I should try it on this, because if there's more than one and we can tear it away, it'll be so much easier to adhere it to the front of the box. So let's just see. Yeah, see, look at that. Look at how, oh, it doesn't come apart that easily. So we'd have to be a little careful with it. Let's just try again. But do you get what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to get the image. And I don't mind if I have to collage it or piecemeal it together to get it on there. I just don't want it this thick. And it looks to me like it will come off with a little bit of time and care. It will come off. And if you pull the bottom piece away from the top, it's easier. See? That'll make it a little easier. So I'm going to go ahead and try that, and I'll be back. So now what I'm going to do is go like this. Gently clean color up. And what I noticed in this is it's got lot. Can you guys see that? There's line there, a line there, a line like see it looked like it was taped down originally. I don't know. Who knows? Me no no. So I'm going to put it right here, kind of in the middle. Because I want to say something on my box, and I'm not sure where I want to put the letters, so I'll put it in the middle with some Mod Podge. So this 
is what I've done with my um, box, my first one. So, um, Doom, it's actually Dumb Sparrow Sparrow, is my favorite quote ever. Everyone in the family knows they make fun of me. They go, Dum Dum Spiral Spirit, you know. But it means while I breathe, I hope in Latin. And I love it. And it's perfect on a soul box. While I breathe, I hope. I could be stressed about whatever. But as long as I'm still breathing, I'm still hoping. So then I just took some little acrylic stamps and stamped that in there. And then a lotus on that side. And the same on that side. And then here it says, what happens in stays in. And then on this end, it just has a heart. So this is pretty well done. The only thing I want to do with this is uh, get a sponge and sponge around the edges with um, Vintage Photo. Just wanted to show you how I added what happens in my soul stays in my soul. Okay, on to our next box, a little bit smaller. Got the rusty tone. I saw the cutest little image on this card. I think it was a Christmas card. Well, it had an angel on it, but it was so cute. So I just want to draw this angel on this box. Just love it. Make these hairs go as far down as you want. There. See? Isn't that cute? I thought it was cute. So what I'm going to do is paint this little um, dress part with just, I'll just use white gesso because it's handy. And then I found some stars in my Brad box. Can you see these little stars here? And I am going to just glue them. What two are silver and the rest are all white, I think. Let me see. And I took I cut the whoa I cut the brad part off the bottom and pressed it in so it would be easy to glue on. So there's no brad. It's just more like these. Cute hey so I'm gonna glue them randomly all over my angel's dress. Okay, so let me get this painted. So there, I just gave it a light um, topping of uh, topping, painting of gesso. So I found this lace. So I cut two pieces. Hang on, I'll get the other one over here. And I want to give my angel some wings. And I thought this part, see how it goes like that? So I'm going to cut everything else away from it. You know, all these connective things. So I think it's actually a flower, I kind of think. But if I cut it straight, right there. See? Where do my wings go? Look at it. That's big, obviously too big, but do you see what I mean? So that would mean I would have to cut right at the bottom of this circle, right here. Just cut that. Got to use your imagination, you know, when you're creating. There. Oh, that's so cute. So now I got to make sure I do the exact same thing on this other piece. Or I can just hold it right up to it. What did I do? Two of these. Yeah, right there. And just cut it out exactly the same. And see, 
You guys can make wings. You don't have to even make an angel. You can make a puppy. You can do whatever you want. I'm just showing you my process. Okay? Okay, so let's see. We got one angel wing there. Boom. And then one angel wing there. Boom. How's that? Oh, that's adorable. Absolutely adorable. And then, of course, I'm going to put these little random stars all over the place. And then I will um, come in with my words. So I've got to glue all this down. Oh, I got lots of stars. I'll put one down there. And another. Little. Before I do any gluing, I'm going to take one of my um, pens and ink in her hair. And I'm going to make sure the pen is um, permanent ink. So when you go to go over the pen, it will not uh, wash away. And the best pen for that is an ultra fine Sharpie, a black ultra fine Sharpie. So that's what I'm going to use. There's one other item I wanted to show you inside the box. There's a heart glued inside. So if for some chance you've lost your way, you don't. You're, you're still upset. At the bottom of your box is a heart. And home is where the heart is. You're going to be okay. You are loved. You're capable of loving. And it's always in the bottom of your soul box. So can you see that? That's a blue gold one. So for this box, I'm going to call this the adult box. So we're going to put the pink candle, the matches, the pad of paper, the pen, the incense, and remember you can add a little extra tiny dish for the incense, and the rose quartz crystal, and your treats. Treats should be at the bottom actually. There. <laughs> and then the lid. And if you're going to give that as a gift, you can write a link in the description box somewhere so you can watch it. It's a little bit different, but same idea. Now, the last box I worked on, here it is. And I drew that crazy little angel and I added the lace with the wings and I glued the stars on. And then I just added some dots and doodles and all around, and I put a little bit of text there, and doodles and text there. And then um, I wrote in my handwriting, this too shall pass. So this might be suitable for somebody who's young of mind. So there's the heart, right there. Home is where the heart is. And then we've got our candle and our rose quartz crystal and our pen. And it fits perfect in here. Our pad of paper. And under the paper, we're going to, I'll put the incense in, but that would be up to the adult. I'm not going to put, well, I guess I could put this dish in. It's kind of had a candle in it. But a dish like this would be perfect if you're going to use it for incense. And it doesn't need matches because we're using that kind of a candle. So there you go. Two beautiful soul boxes to help aid us reading negativity. So I hope you guys give these a try. I'm not going to put a meditation at the end of this video because this whole video was kind of about that kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys give these a try and thanks so much for watching. Bye!